So why bother? Why bother securing your website? Why not just say, you know what? The website didn't cost me that much. I'll let it get hacked and not worry about it. Well, there's a bunch of reasons you really don't want to get hacked and that you really want to secure your WordPress website. One of them is it's not just you, it's your user community that's visiting the site. So you may have a thousand users a month. You may have a hundred thousand users a month or millions of users a month. And you're potentially exposing those folks to risk because someone else is controlling your website. They can pretend to be you. They can engage with those customers. They can install malware on those customers' desktops if they're running a vulnerable desktop and so on. So the user community is really a big motivator in terms of protecting your site. Another one is the liability that your business could be exposed to if you are hacked. It's considered a data breach. So a very good reason to secure your site is to reduce that liability. And then you've got a big investment in the site that is potentially going to be harmed or even destroyed. Uh, you know, the site will be compromised for a certain amount of time and customers uh, that are visiting the site can see the site, see that it's compromised and it can harm your reputation. Your employees could be targeted. Uh, if the site's compromised, they might think they're being contacted by a fellow employee and be targeted even personally. Your SEO is going to be really badly damaged. And then the impact to your revenue, your PayPal earnings could be redirected to a different account. Finally, there's sort of this sort of more ethical side of it where by securing your site, you're part of a broader effort to secure the WordPress community and the WordPress ecosystem of websites as a whole.